last week I was playing around a bit with this dividing head. I think it can be a very nice and useful piece of equipment. But when it's all assembled with this plate and this plate and this part, it's very heavy and way too much work to install on the milling machine. But I think it would be stupid to have a nice piece of equipment like this and not be able to use it. So I was thinking, yes, I was thinking of a easier solution to install this part directly on the table of the milling machine. And of course, as always, it's a little bit more complicated than it seems at first glimpse. Let me explain. This surface normally comes on this surface, I think. And then you have the 90 degrees and this side comes on this plate. Now, this and this are held together in this slot with T-bolts. Which means I can't put bolts directly through the thing here to bolt it on the table. So I need to find another solution. My first idea was to use some kind of plate that I can bolt on the dividing head and bolt directly or clamp directly on the milling table. This one really beautiful but too small. This one also really beautiful but it's very heavy. If I combine this plate and the dividing head I can't lift it anymore. And when I was looking around in my junk pile I came across this little piece of 40 mil round. And I think if I cut two other ones I have three exactly the same pieces. So I can make three little feet that I can easily bolt on with my T-bolts. Not really a problem. If I cut a groove here in this part all three of them of course and I make some kind of fork that I can bolt down on the table of the milling machine I think that could work with my three little feet in place I can install them wherever I want which means also that the dividing head I can install it in whatever angle I want, only horizontal angle of course. I will cut out two other pieces like this one, I have the material here, and find three pieces of material to make the fork style idea things and uh, let's go for it. My six little blanks are cut out and ready to go, so let's start with the...
I just finished my three little feet here and of course a bozo model but yeah happens right and these things seems to fit quite well what should be good is to make two flats so I'm able to put a spanner on it but we'll see let's first start working on the hold down forks things that comes in here and to work a little bit faster I will do it here on the shaper and do all three at the same time use my copper wire to hold them all nicely together Three little blocks are cleaned up on only three sides. For the moment, that's enough. First, I would like to cut the radius in here. That will take, of course, the radius here in my little feet. And I want to do this with my boring ball. Yeah, boring is the idea. Two in some time. Not that I'm in a hurry, but to win some time, I'm gonna try something. I will put my three parts on stack and do them all three at the same time. To compensate for the maybe little difference of thickness between the parts, I will squeeze them with a piece of belt sander belt sand belt thing here just a little bit change of plans here I put in only two parts because the stack of three the part that was on the top doesn't hold very well in whatever position I put them, uh, I switched position that just doesn't work. It holds, but so I put in only two. I installed these pieces of uh, belt sander belt thing. Uh, let's uh, two sets. The radius at the right distance here, my cutting tool at the right distance, was very easy. I measure the shank. I know that the radius must be 15, so I set my calibers on the right length and I think it was uh, 25. Yeah, 25. And then I brought my tool in and out and it seems to work. My three parts are cut out, this uh, rounding thing here. And now I'm gonna cut a shoulder here, which means after cutting I will have a stick out here, so kind of bump, so it can be bolted down and that will serve as a hinge. Because my little blue vise really is too small to put the three parts same time in it, I installed my piece of 
crap thing here. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I stopped because, for I don't know what reason, this third part here is moving in the vise. I see it flex, not really flexing, but it's moving. So this vise is not really a good idea. Let's try to find another solution. I installed my copper wire here between the part and the yeah. And this seemed to work a little bit better. The problem is now of course that the jaw is still lifting the parts up, which, which means this part will be a little bit thicker than this one. So the plan is I'm gonna rub them out and after that I change vice and I will do one by one the finishing cuts. To cut this little surface to final depth I will do it here on a milling machine. Because when this is finished I have to make some kind of slot in here or a big hole or whatever we'll see. So it will be already installed on the milling machine. Let's, uh, let's. And this is where I have to stop part one of this build. But no worries, I will come with part two next week. Stay tuned. <laughs>